okay I want to welcome everybody welcome to another video here okay uh, in this video uh, you're watching here I'm going to show you uh, some things okay um, well it's like this okay there's various softwares that you can use for um, reference when it comes to 3d models and 3d figures in fact there's so much stuff out there there's so many websites uh, as well for reference when it comes to 3D and I'm specifically talking about 3D um, now there's a, um, a debate there's a thing like you know people some people think that it's totally cheating and it's stupid it's wrong or it can make your art look stiff or it's just totally bad you know bad in every way to uh, use 3D figures 3D models and computer graphics 3D for reference or like for tracing over you know drawing over to do um, your art or even just for reference or whatever but, but the thing is sometimes it can be very good practice still it's still good now what I usually do is I, I practice a lot of different things I do freehand art I do my own art as you know um, and I also use anything for reference be it tracing over or be it just using for reference or be it um, drawing a stick figure type shape but on top of the thing but not but not tracing all the details but just getting the positions you know the po poses of the figures and then drawing on top of those and I think you know fo photos are good videos are also good you can draw draw over video clips like your own or stuff you get online you know there's so much stuff out there um, but um, 3D is also another good thing. It is good practice. It's still it's still good, I think. You know, and you can set up various scenes now. 3D, as I've talked about before, there's um, you know softwares that you can use for 3D. Um, <coughs> um, like for scenery and stuff. And you may see my desktop here, and I have quite a lot of different softwares you can see on my desktop, right? Um, and I've had different ones in the past too but you know the, what the point I'm trying to say is is you may not be doing 3D art you may be doing 2D art but you'll be using images as reference or to trace over to get perfect or near to perfect um, camera angles that you want and perspective and all of that and I think it's good practice it's good practice you know to help you so that when you do your own art and you should be loosened up you shouldn't be stiff but but you know um, it will help you understand perspective more and proportions and all that stuff and it helps me a lot so sometimes I'll do that let me take you through some of my softwares you can see a lot of softwares have got on my computer let's talk about some 3d ones notably SketchUp is a very good one for 3d scenery and stuff you can also use blender I've got blender here very very good stuff um, there's various other game engines and stuff like you know Unreal Engine, Unity, CryEngine, all those game engines which can also be used to u utilize 3D. Um, I've got this thing here. Um, this is actually Neo Axis, Neo Axis. But let's talk about figures. Let's talk about 3D figures. I've got this software here called Manga Studio or Manga Studio, and within this software there are actually 3D figures. If you look it up online, this has actually got new versions of this out now. My one is uh, Manga Studio 5 um, EX or EX5, um, but um, you can find newer versions too, which can do animation and stuff in. But uh, we're going to take a look at this in a moment because this is an art software for making comics and stuff, and it's actually got 3D figures inside that you can actually pose, you know, and, and um, draw over, you know, get those positions. They've got like ready-made positions and stuff in there too. Um, now in fact um, I don't want to show you too much I don't want to open up all of these different softwares this is another one make human make human is very good for 3d figures because you can put them into you can bring those models into other softwares like blender or even in SketchUp you know um, another one I want to show you is this pose studio portable let's open that up now pose studio pose studio portable this is like an early on old version of the 3D models that um, are in 
Manga Studio. And um, this is literally just a, a piece of software where you can like pose dummies. You've got male and female figures like this. And basically, you can just turn the camera like this, okay? And you can, um, you know, draw. Uh, you can you can you can position position the figure you know any way you like. Position the figure literally. You can do fighting poses, whatever you want to do. You know, you can have more than one figure in the scene. And this one, you can see my one's actually all in Japanese, but you get the idea, right? Now to move um, the camera, you press left click and hold and move the camera. Turn the angle. If you want to zoom in and out, you hold right click down and uh, the right mouse button and zoom, move the mouse and you'll see it goes in and out depending on, on the direction uh, middle mouse button is actually when you've clicked on a part of the body like left click on some part of the body you can toggle that and turn it by using these toggles that they've got here by left left clicking <coughs> sorry left clicking on the body and then when the this when these um rotation guides come up you'll see for each part of the body that is when I'm left clicking it will come up with this and then you can click on these axes there and um, move them you know by left clicking and holding but I was gonna say um, if you just click on the body part and then move the mouse wheel just turn it you'll see that also turns it um, if you press the middle mouse button in and move the mouse around it will just hold it in hold it in and then move the mouse around it will just do that pan uh, what else do we have we have different camera angles like I'm looking up the top here I can't read the Japanese but these two bars so this one you can turn the camera on certain angles and stuff this one here it gives you like this proportion that like, is stretched out like crazy you know distortion and stuff that's sometimes very very cool but like, if you've got certain fighting moves or something crazy you know or scenes you see dramatic see I can adjust that however I will can have various um, figures in the scene bring more figures in and stuff too you got this shadow thing this light if I move this around this thing here it's changing the light you can see also the angle this is not really really I wouldn't say great I'm not I'm not using this, this for 3d but the point would be the point is you what you would do is you'd get your scene set up okay and then what you would do is you would basically um, Oh, I can change the size of this figure too by using this here on the right hand side here. Um, if you hold on one second guys, hold on one second please. Hold on. So, um, sorry guys, I'm very sorry as I said. I'm going to finish this video in a moment. Let me just show you this last thing. Um, yeah, you can change the size. I was going to say, um, uh, we've got this move tool also, this move thing here, so if I click on the character yeah you can see of tools here on the left hand side also that this one here so if I click there should be a way to move this is not a software which I use a lot, I, I mainly use um, uh, another software, I think it's this one, no, hang on so you've got different views as well, if I click on these four different things here you can see different views and you can kind of mix them up as well like here, like this, this, you can go for different views, see, mix that up with the lines there, or that, or that, or the lines and the shadows, or this, that, or the guides like this, you might want to go like that, this is good, you might want to have those guides, you know, you can change the proportions of the figures too, as I say, there is male and female figures, you can bring in your own other figures too, and other models, so I could bring in models of buildings and stuff, and cars, or anything like that, anything, and objects to make scenes up more characters in you can change the camera around camera around and make your scenes and what I was going to say is yeah I think it's maybe this one hold on oh no this is for the hands so you've got these hands if you see the hands here this is really cool if I zoom in you see how I'm moving this toggle on the right here and the hands are moving and I think I can just do single hands too like just like that see and you can click on each finger obviously and move them individually or lock various fingers it seems to be here, you've got various base positions it's giving you too which is good um, hold on so yeah you see like that you know this is for both hands now unless you've got one selected 
Um, yeah, as I say, you can move the character around. I'm just trying to find out how to do that because I can't read, as I say, the um, uh, the Japanese. Yeah, for, yeah, so you just click on that. So you click on this icon here at the top here, um, the axes on. You click on that, then it will it'll highlight it in a box. And you click on this blue point and you just move it anywhere you want. And see the shadows is creating too, so I could do that. Okay, and then the point is what you would do is you would um, you can flip things too, like flip by clicking on this. Um, I'm gonna say um, you can um, take photos. Is what I would do. So what I would do is basically is I would, you know, I would take a screenshot. Okay. So I've clicked on this again to get it away. Okay. So click on that again. But you take a screenshot of your scene, and then what you would do is you draw on top of this. So for practice, that's what I'm basically saying. So you get some designs, okay? And it's quite useful. Let me just turn this off just one second. I'm going to open up um, Manga Studio, and I'll show you. Manga Studio is basically, you know, they've got new versions of this out now, and they're not even called Manga Studio. But it's good because I'll show you. Like this is an art software, and I used to use this a lot more. But I use different ones now, as I say. So you can see it's got various brushes and stuff, and you can do comic panels. Just so much. It's really good for comics and stuff, you know. But the thing is, if I go in, and you'll see that this is where it's from the same makers, I believe. It's from the makers of this, that one I just showed you. Is actually you got 3D like, you know, um, figures and stuff. Um, let's have a look. Just trying to find one. Hold on one second, guys. Um, it's got so uh, it's you know it's one of them ones. Hold on, let me just show. Hold on. So you got m female or male? I'm gonna bring a female one in just this time, just to show you. Did you just drag it on? You got female or male uh, characters? You see, and it's the same sort of thing. It's the same controls basically, but it just it works the same way. You got the lights and stuff. You can turn on the light source. You know what you do is you li it literally does that on a, on a layer. So what I would do is I'm not I'm not going to pose this. You know I could pose it and stuff. I could pose it in position, but I'm not going to bother for this video. I'm just showing you something really quickly. Okay, if I go back to my layers uh, up here and turn this down, like make it really faint, you know, and then go to another layer on top, like an art layer, okay, like an art layer on top. Then I can start drawing. You see, so I can do that. So with it, within this particular software, I don't actually have to have um, screenshots and stuff. I can just literally have the figure here. See, in the um, software. You see, so I'm doing that. So I'm just doing a character. They're saying, and I'll draw on top of that, and I'll just work out my character. You know, whatever it's going to be, t-shirt, whatever you see what I'm saying. You know, and I'll draw my character, you know, and just draw on top. And then what you'll do is you'll get rid of the 3D model and you'll just have your image. So you can see how useful that is, and you can repose the figures and everything, you know, as you go along. Um, so that's just a little tip I wanted to give you there, okay? Uh, just telling you, uh, again, you know, Photoshop also, I've got Photoshop, that can have 3D in it, like my one here. This is CS6 I've got here, but then, you know, Photoshop. This is another one here, Poser. That Poser is again, it's just for posing 3D figures and 3D models. You can get a free um, one which is very similar to this, which is called Daz Studio, Daz 3D. But I've tried it and I didn't really like it much. But Daz and Poser are both similar. They're just like for posing figures, but it's the same sort of thing. You can like, you know, get 3D models and you know, pose them, take screenshots using other software, softwares, and then bring it into your art software and do drawing. So the only one here really is Manga Studio oh, and Photoshop. These two are the ones that you can have 3D models in and draw over them. Um, the art softwares that I mainly use nowadays are is Critter and Fire Alpaca. They're the best two for art. They're free. Critter's the best and Fire Alpaca's good. Fire Alpaca does have some perspective like 3D kind of cube like rulers and things you can move around it's quite useful for some kind of perspective just in terms of that 
Yeah, but the the point is really though, um, you know, it's it's not really for that. You can't bring 3D into it, and you can't bring 3D into Critter either. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next.